Hello, I'm Oscar, and I'm here today to explain you how we make port wine. As you know, port wine is only made in the Douro Valley in Portugal. This is our winery, these are some of our vineyards, and all the grapes we grow in our vineyards come to our winery, which is right in front of me. So we are in it's November, but I, I decided to, I, I tried to find some, some bunches and were left in the vines to explain you how, how we make port. This is pretty simple. We have uh, three kinds of port, white port, which is made with white grapes, and rosé and red port, which is made with uh, red grapes, like this. The red port uh, can be divided in two types, in ruby port, which is bottle aged, and the tony port, which is barrel aged. So the difference between port wine and the regular wine is in the fermentation. For port, we stop the fermentation when it's at, uh, around at the middle. So um, we had a kind of a brandy, which, is a, which we have here, 77% alcohol. And adding this brandy, the, the yeast will die. So I will try to explain you a little bit how we can make it. In general, the fermentation can last for three, four days, depending on the temperatures we have. We, we, um, we ferment the, um, the juice in contact with the skin to get more structure. So we almost always we, we, we take the berries out of the um, out of the um, the bunch, so we stem it. But today it's not well, very easy to do it. So let's put a little bunch of grapes here. Then we will crush it. So let's try to crush it. It's not easy. So this what this is what our um, crushing machine does. Just crushes the berries. We crush it. You can see then we already have a little bit of color. Pretty light yet. Let's keep crunching this. Actually, the the juice is pretty cold today. This morning we had zero degrees. I guess now it's around four or five. The door is getting cold and cold. It's November, and uh, so keep crushing the berries. We already have a little bit of juice. So skin in the fermentation tank. Let's put a little bit more of skin. More skin. Good. So every hour or every two hours we we, we pump it over. So we take the juice from the bottom, we put it in the top. Just keep moving it. This is to help us to, to mix the um, the must and also for the yeast to, to go through um, um, a, a similar fermentation in all around, all over the, the tank. So after three, four, five hours, the, the yeast will start eating the sugar, they will multiply uh, their cells, and uh, will start uh, increasing slowly the alcohol content in the must and reducing the sugar level. And when you get around six, seven percent alcohol, uh, natural alcohol in, in the must, we do something like this. We have the brandy, 77% alcohol, pretty strong. We had around 20%. We put it in, it's around 20, well, a little bit more. We want the, the, from the, um, the yeast to stop. And uh, now we have around 20% alcohol in the must. And with 20% alcohol, yeast cannot survive. They stop eating the sugar, and all the sugar that is still left in the must will continue and will age with the wine. So the fermentation is right now stopped because of the, the alcohol, and then we decant this, we take the juice out of course, we put in the barrels, and we, we will age it for 5 years or 50 years, depends on what, what you want to do with the wine. So this is pretty simple, and uh, the big difference is in the, the sweetness of the wine. Port is a sweet wine, so to keep this sweetness we have to add a brandy, around 20%, to stop the fermentation, we kill the yeast, and uh, we have port wine made. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, just email me, oscar at gavedoportwine.com. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.